Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Loki, and I'm back with another GLA Alonso video. Today, I'm just going to be playing this new Elementary Escapades event. Kind of grinding through it. That's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. Uh, okay, so let me go get my fire team and completely wash this out. Because <laughs> it's very simple. Um, can't wait for the Stathelman banner for this, by the way. It really looks like it's going to be Kid Ransel, or Rascal Ransel, and... Human, 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 mama, Mercury. What? Human Mercury. <laughs> um, sometimes you just try words and it completely fails you. That's what that was what happened to me right there. Good job, Nim. And this is the main reason why I'm really happy to see. Um, not really happy to see. I really want to see another one of this type of unit because they're maybe my favorite units. Human mids is also super fun to play with as well. So if they want to keep releasing units like that, I would gladly accept it. I really hope she's one of the banner units because funny enough, it is like Kid Ranzel, Kid Luis, and then there's also female Mercury. But the two banner units are Ranzel and Mercury, so that makes me assume it's going to be her then, right? They wouldn't pull a fast one on me. It's really kind of a shame for Luis, because that means that Luis would be, I guess, just a side art on Renzel. Which is kind of a shame. It's a damn shame they don't do more than two for these types of banners. Alright, let's go. Alright, good job. <laughs> just automatically killing everything. Um, also, what I've read of the stories so far, which is just the beginning of it. I like the continuation of people just finding his way into accidentally helping create things. It's really funny. I love people so much. I wanted to get him a mana spiral already. He needs it now, unfortunately, because of Chris and Hillity. It, they kind of uh, made him an extremely useless vegetable. <laughs> so he needs a buff now, for sure. And I would, gl I would gladly accept a buff for him. He needs one, like I said. All out assault. I know who needs to be here for this. Where you at, Mims? Sorry to keep you waiting. Yep, equip this. And go beat ass, I guess. This should be extremely easy. Honestly, I shouldn't have to switch it off after this at all. Oh wait, so that means that one of these units is gonna be fire and the other one has to be it's water, because it's human mercury. Oh, so that means Ransel's fire. Huh. Sure. I mean, it, 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 there's no fire Ranzel, so it makes 100% sense to make him fire. Um, I just didn't really think about it. Yeah, that would make most of the school kid versions of characters, because there's school schoolgirl Mar Maribel who exists in the game as well, and she's also fire. So that would mean two kid units have been made fire. And Lowen. That's almost a full kid team. Oh man, that'd be a fun video if I ever get him. A full-on kitty team. I'm gonna do it. You heard it here first. If you're watching this video, you basically heard the beginnings of my idea. So let me go here. Whoop. Perfect team. They can get this done. No issues. Zero issues is what I'm telling you right now. What is this weird rat creature? It's been in the game for so long, I actually don't remember its name. What is it? A Jumbo Chibawaya? A Chumbo Chibawuka? Or dehydrate. I remember this quote. <laughs> I've, this shows how much I've been using her, because I constantly hear that. I remember it. You either hydrate or you dehydrate. Good quote, honestly. One of the best out there. Okay, let's go here. I like these kind of events, honestly. It, I'm, <laughs> the one thing I don't like about them is, of course, the rewards they give you. It seems the main reward for this is always is for the shield scare things, but the amount of warm they give is never enough for me. And I think they give one ticket if I look at it, um, which is nice. Um, but I don't know. I feel, always feel like the warm item out you get from this event isn't good, but I kind of like the laid-back kind of events. 
you basically got hit by the splashback. <laughs> Good job, weird rodent. Size, you either hydrate or you dehydrate. Perfect. I should really just be using Karina just to hear all her quotes. Oh, right like then. I'm not gonna do Karina's voice. I can't do it unless I hear her voice. But if you play English, you know what I'm talking about. I make fun of it all the time. And I love Karina. Don't get it twisted. I absolutely love Karina, but it is really funny how she sounds in this game. Big Toad. I mean, you don't need my help for this, right? Yeah, the thought so. I actually did, was a detriment to your success. Uh oh. I'm afraid to move my leg and cause the cable to go bad. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Glory. Thank you for the glory. It is also nice to kind of have events where you don't need to um, put on specific warm prints. Because back in the day in Dragalia, that was every event, it was super annoying. And it's funny now, because now it's super easy to kind of just have equipment sets for specific worm prints. And they don't do that kind of event anymore. And I should have really switched teams, but it should be fine. I'll switch back after this. I forgot that it would be fire. Ah, oh, damn it, does that mean the final boss would be water? Damn. What's fine, because we're going to hear the dihydrate. Let me get this, just in case. Boom. Yeah, there was no issue here. Absolutely zero. Comes to... Oh, damn it. Hydrate or dihydrate. It's between this or love wins again, darling. I know for a fact that one. I also like the French dude. I think his name is Urius. The Sebin, no? My power, it is great. No? I really hope I'm doing it right, but it's been a while since I've used him. But when I used him, I used him a whole bunch, and I, I always heard that all the time was, I've been doing excellent, no? Yes? Yes? No? I love specific dub voices. I know some people out there just have like this a giant mean streak against them. I absolutely love them. I think they set a very good tone for what I want from a video game, which is a good mixture of like, this is just some good silly fun. But when people specifically put on an accent, I think that's my favorite kind. There's a dude in Dragon Quest, um, the most recent one, um, where he's supposed to sound like, like a Spaniard, and I can't tell if he's actually Spanish. But he's also supposed to be a, like a flamboyant Spaniard, so everything he says is like... He sounds like... <laughs> if you ever watched The Simpsons, there was a, uh, a gay Hispanic man on it who would go like... I don't know if they still use him, because at a certain point, I guess, you know, some stereotypes aren't effective. But he was he was very clearly gay. They always quoted him as gay. Where He, he kind of sounds like that to me. Where it's like, I don't know if this is actually your voice, so... I don't know if this is really okay, but also I really like that voice. Big fan of actual, like, accents and stuff. It's a shame that people don't use them correctly nowadays. Because they are actually, I think, fantastic. I love a good accent. And I love good humor based around an accent that does not mock the accent, but it's a joke that uses the accent. Those are the actual good jokes. My favorite is, of course, from Narcos. It's the one I always think of is when... Which is something that would totally happen... Um, which is one of the Narcos dudes from Cuba looked at the name for Ed Koch and he looked at it and he said, yeah, we're looking for Ed, Ed Koch. And the guy's like, I think it was Pablo. He's like, what? Yeah, Koch. Koch. And he's like, he looked at it, he's like, gosh, Bendel. It's like, oh, that's funny, because it's actually something I could totally see end up happening. The joke isn't that um, he has a funny accent. The joke is he didn't know how to read it, because the English language can actually be extremely tough for a lot of people with accents. You know? So I think that's a more playful way of making a, a joke like that. As someone who is of Hispanic background, of course, and I can say that. I really like that whoever is still around for this video is hearing me my breakdown of what I feel is right for accents. <laughs> 
We're almost done with this, though. We're almost gonna be a complete done with this. You either hydrate or you dehydrate. I'm adding more stuff to it now. I believe in it. Skirmish Master. Hello, Not. Hello! It's me, Not. I don't know why I'm trying to make her sound like Morty from Rick and Morty. Alright, next. Go here. Come on, let's hydrate or dehydrate these fools. Make them drown in it. I know this guy. He's the Angram Totem Man. He's the Ecom Bokum. From Crash Bandicoot. Everyone's favorite character, the Ecom Bokum. I'm, no, I'm getting completely confused. The Ecom Bokum is from. <laughs> it's from Petro Kazooie. My bad. The one from uh, Crash, I don't remember how he sounds like. You either hydrate or you dehydrate. If you're still watching this, leave a hydrate or dehydrate. Tell me would you, which one you would prefer. Hydrating or dehydrating. Let me tell you right now, I'm super hydrated. That makes it seem like I've taken some kind of substance. I just want to let it be known. I'm cool with people who do it. I don't do it, but all I do is... I'm actually a very boring person. All right, let's go into this next fight. <laughs> now, I did say that I think Mim could beat these all basically solo. So let's see if I'm not full of shit or not. I mean, he's just big ass Toad. You can take that shit down easy. But apparently not. I wish I could shapeshift again. Oh, she took that down easy. You heard it here first. Mim takes it down easy. Go to the fucking toad, Mim. Tired of you. No, I'm not tired of you. Perfect. Love wins again, darling. Love wins again, darling. Boom. Predicted that. Put down love wins again if you're <laughs> if you've made it 12 minutes in of me just completely. <laughs> No selling this entire event of how easy it is. Oh boy. And I think that's it, right? The only thing left are the super hard stuff. Yep. Alright. That's it, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, wherever it may be. Again, if you ended up liking this video for whatever reason, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> the, <laughs> the last video I did for an event ended up with like three likes and one dislike, but it's also because I think by the end of the video, it completely got destroyed. <laughs> I think it might actually be my worst performing video. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much for watching. I always appreciate it. Goodbye.